feeling quite lovely today. He had a massage the other day. Okay. <laughs> Just show me the counter, Lisa. Okay, I'm back to trot. Let's take with the trot now a little bit more pressure to the shape. Okay, you've got to say to him where you want his head. And I think for you also, you've got to have a bit more where do I want his head? Where's the best place for it? Because it does fluctuate a little bit. Sometimes yeah. he's a bit more up, then he comes a bit too round. Security is the best place. So where you put him that you feel, right, when I've got you here, I can push you on, I can bring you back without you escaping out the front or dipping under. It's not a rule on, you're not being judged here, there's none of this, he's overbent so you can't have him there, he's too above the bar so you can't have him there. It's where you find him best in balance. So if you think, right, when he gets a bit too low, I feel like all the weight's going on to the front. If I have him too high, I feel like he gets strung out. So you've got to find that happy place where you can have him and you can still push the body, shorten the body. Okay, you need to do a lot more transition work with him. Yeah. Because it's the only way to get that body connected. Okay, we know established that his hind legs aren't the best, but that when actually when he's trotting, they're a lot better than when he's walking. Yeah. He does actually bend them and bring them. Yeah, his walk is his work, Jake. In fact, we were quite pleased on Monday. We got a seven for our pre-walk. <laughs> We've only ever got six up until now. Yeah, that's so it's not a bad walk, it's just like we say, he doesn't have the biggest drive to it. Every time he loses his balance, you make a transition. And that transition could be um, all the way to walk. It could just be a half hold back. And rebalance, you've got to again carry on. I think that's the problem. I'm not entirely sure when he loses his balance. Okay. It can be when he gets heavier. Right. Remember you said at the beginning that he dives a little bit on the shoulder? Yep. So if you're picking a rhythm and you're thinking this is a nice shot and then you feel like the pressure gets a little bit heavier and he runs a stride, lost balance. Right. He could drop the other way and drop behind you and lose his balance. So anything that changes or interferes with what you've chosen as your rhythm of trot, if he changes it for whatever reason, that's him losing his balance. And that warrants a transition of some sort. Sometimes it's a much more stronger case that he runs through the hands. You've got to bring him all the way back to his weight. Yeah. Listen. Right, but Sometimes it can just be a little bit that half off. But you've got to be really on the case of it. What's the contact like? Does he get heavy? Does he get light? And you have an equal balance on both reins so that your your left is the same as your right rein and so on? Yeah. I do have a tendency, um, because of my surgery, my and my ongoing back problems, <laughs> my left leg is much weaker than my than my right. Okay. So he tends to not move away or reflect my left leg as much. So it's whip. <laughs> yeah. Anticipate a, a truck to halt, or from halt he'll anticipate. It cuts out though. He'll anticipate rain back. 
And the, oh, this is nice, it's giving a nice shot, it feels good. Keep that the time to tackle that back end. Yeah. The days where he feels horrible, you know, that's when you've got to do the simple things. That's the problem, he doesn't feel horrible. Right, to then me. you go, <laughs> go to town on him. Go to town on that body, make him work a little harder. Yeah, good, good, good. Better. Now you're a little bit left the front alone when you came into the walk so he just pushed out the stride you need to keep that together a little bit more okay yeah there you go good nice and quick off the leg on the way out Up, legs, up, legs. Good. When you come to it, really push down hard with your, your toes, not your heel, but you're literally on the ball of your foot. Pushing down, you go through the horse a lot more. It's a good tool to use as a half hold. Good. Yeah, then positive. Left leg in, left leg in, push the back end out a little bit on the turn. That's good. Yeah, soften it through the jaw and then go. That's it. You need to be that transition, it needs to be quite quick so that if you come in, the horse sits in and it's got something to push off. If you allow him to sort of adjust, he can adjust the hind legs out. Now go. Yeah. Because it's not the exercise to see how good the holts are. Yeah. It's the anchor at the back. So yeah. if you know that another day you think might be gonna work on square holts today. This is us underneath the top off. Little bit lazy up the left this left is left arm. That's all right. 